Alright gang and welcome back to Nino Kuni. I, I shouldn't say that should I? Alright gang. I sound like Fred. I don't want to sound like Freddy because he wears an ascot and he looks lame. So I'm not gonna say that. Let's say what what should I say? What's going on guys? <laughs> welcome back to Nino Kuni. <laughs> that sounds more casual I guess. <laughs> but anyway, welcome back. We are now back in Ding Dong Dell Dilly Doo. And I'm pretty sure we have to go see the king, but let's check out this pot. Ooh, five guilders. So that's, I guess that's the currency. I'm not sure why I thought that the, the stamps were the currency, because I, I didn't even know what I was collecting. I thought that was the stamps to begin with, but never mind. I guess it's like gold. Guilders is what they call them. Can we go into any of these shops? Okay. And what's up with this moon place? I'm guessing this is like an inn. Where we can recover or something. Oh, I'm sorry. We're not open at present. Present. Present? Is that how you say it? She, it's like she's purring. Please come back later if you'd like to stay tonight. She's like a cat. Look at her face. That's cool to see these different types of people. Or these different types of... What do you call, say? Species, maybe? Of beings? Races? Yeah, races is what you would probably say so we can't sleep in the inn today they're not open so let's just talk to some of these random people welcome to ding dong dell if you're looking for the royal palace it's straight down this road all right cool beans sir i could have looked it up myself but okay at least i just hope that holds the boutique hasn't sold out of the things i need what's this little girl doing yay pp -pee -pee town what are you doing pp -pee -pee time no not in the open what are you doing? I want to see this. Why are you standing up like a boy? Are you... What the... <laughs> oh, man. I'm so freaked out by that. But anyway, let's go. <laughs> let's talk to these people. I just don't feel like I've got any energy to do anything. No one seems to have any energies these days. Because of uh, Shadar, right? Shadar got him in check mode. What do you think of Ding Dong Del? Plenty of greenery, isn't it? Yeah, this place is beautiful, man. It's, just, it's writhing. It's like, this, this place is huge. Come on, Mon. What are you thinking? We, we'll never get to the palace. Come on, I just want to explore, Drippy. Man, you're no fun, Drippy. I can't even explore the damn town. Ooh, animation. Jeepers. It's so different. Stop staring, man. It's rude. But look at those goofy clothes. Goofy? Are you blind? You are the goofy one around these parts. <laughs> huh? Look at his funny clothes. <laughs> 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 what a loser. What kind of clothes Crikey, are those? We better get you a new outfit before they put you in the zoo. They laughing at me? Oh, okay. <laughs> I guess my clothes are not accepted by society in this world. I'm sorry, Ollie Boy, but no matter how trendy they are over in Motorville, your clothes are just plain out of place over here. Are they really so strange? But this is all I have. Then we'll just have to buy you some more, won't we? There's loads of shops here in Ding Dong Dell, Dilly Do, Bond. One of the <laughs> one of them must sell clothes, ain't it? I guess. Okay, let's find a store where I can buy a new outfit. Let's go get pimped out, son! I won't. Oh, can, Drippy, Drippy, can I have one of those universal cloaks the White Witch was wearing? I want one of those damn universe cloaks. Them things look so awesome. I'm pretty sure he doesn't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Is this the clothing store? It had a star on it. And this gotta be the clothing store. Excuse me, ma'am. Do you sell clothes from the, uh, I mean, do you sell regular clothes? Clothes there? Ooh, ooh, I'm afraid we don't have any in stock at the moment. Don't tell us that, Martin. Have you seen how the boy's dressed? He's a flipping embarrassment. <laughs> He's getting funny looks everywhere we go. My street cred is in ruins. <laughs> His street cred? Why is he even saying that? <laughs> Should he? <laughs> That's hilarious. Ooh, a fairy. That doesn't belong in his dictionary. I used to see your kind all the time, but I bet children these days don't even know who you are. You're telling me, kids these days, man, disrespectful, ignorant, downright rude. 
They wouldn't know a fairy if it kicked them in the flipping shins. Not like you, huh, Mistus? <laughs> no, I bought these clothes. Yes, dear. Woo, let me think now. It's like she's an owl. Now I come to think it, there was a traveler who left a set of clothes here once upon a time. He bought a new outfit, you see. So he left his old one behind. Roughly human shaped, is it? And cheap, I shouldn't doubt. Tidy, we'll take it. But Mr. Drippy, yes, now I remember, he was the one who. <laughs> yes, he said <laughs> they were very special clothes made from the fabric woven from the fibers of the ski. The, the ski. The sky tree, if I remember rightly. Lovely and comfy, extremely hard weaving, and lucky the hoot. I want one of those universal capes, man. I don't want nothing made from the freaking tree. I mean, I want something made from the stars and the sun and the moon and the universe. It would look who on you otherwise. Could you come back tomorrow morning? Tomorrow? So I guess we gotta go find some place to stay. Woohoo! A pleasure, my dear. Toodle Toodle hoo! She's like hooting. She's like hoo hoo, like an owl. That's cool. Wow, I can change the camera view during this? That's cool. I like to go and see the king right away, but we can't go till we got your outfit sorted, ain't it? It's a catwalk, and you guys see that? I guess not, but what will we do until tomorrow? I know that guard on the gate said something about us getting some kind of car from a place in town, huh? Something Solutions. I think he said the name of the shop was. The only one we just went in, the Hoot Hook. The <laughs> Hootique. That's what he said. That's how you say it. Hootique. That's the owl one. Was it Swift Solutions? That's this clever of you. That's the one. I knew it was some kind of bird. Nice one, Ollie boy. The stories, <laughs> the stories here sure do have goofy names. You reckon? They're just named after what they look like, ain't it? Anyway, let's get over the Swift Solutions, shall we? All right. Let's talk to this cat. That where'd the cat go? Huh? Where'd that cat go? I like, dude. Where's that cat? It was walking up and down. Let's talk to this kid. Is this the one that went PP in the front? The shop that looks like an owl is called the Hootie. I wonder why they chose that name. Because it looks like it? Let's talk to this cat. What a lovely outfit. <laughs> your, your shirt is a, such a purity of shade of yellow. A purity. A purity. It's like the cat from Lazy Town. Or is it Crazy Town? You know that Nickelodeon show? That's what that cat reminds me of. All right, let's see. What can we get into? Can we explore the town any further? This is the best spot for a breather and all a ding dong deal. Why don't you join me for a bit? Nah, I don't feel like getting stoned today. He looked like he was an artist. I guess we can explore a little bit. I don't know what's coming over me lately. I'm just full of doom and gloom. Let's talk to this crazy looking cat. You know the pots we got dotted all over the town? Well, you should probably have a look inside them every now and then. It's like these cats are, these people are, it's humans, cats, and owls, and birds. The tug of tail turning is starting soon. I've got, I gotta start pr practicing, practicing. I gotta get used to all these different, uh, ooh, a chest. All these different accents and such. You'll never believe the things I learned today. School is so much fun. I almost prefer it to play. <laughs> almost. <laughs> almost. My father works in King Tom's Palace. He, he's the one wearing the helmet. Your father is a moron, kid. <laughs> hey, look. There's a grave over here. And it's something shiny. There's a dot that's shiny. What the... What the? What's up with you, man? You look a little bit pale, do you? You're giving this to me? You received a page describing the spirit medium spell. Well, fancy that. That's a page from the Wizard's Companion, that is. What's this little squirt doing with it? I'm sorry, I can't hear you. Do you think he, can, he can't speak? I guess we should do the spirit medium technique. If I'm not very mistaken. Yep, it must be. Did you figure something out, Drippy? 
That spell he just gave you. Try it, Alibo. You'll see soon. All right. Spirit medium. It costs five MP though. Thank goodness it worked. Jeepers creepers, you can talk. Of course I can talk, silly. You can you cast spirit medium on me, didn't you? So that's what it does, huh? You mean to tell me you cast a spell without knowing what it did? What kind of wizard are you? For future reference, spirit medium lets you speak to the spooky spirits of the dead like me. So I was right. You're a flipping ghost, ain't it? A g g ghost jeepers. <laughs> you mean to tell me that ghosts really exist? Of course they do. Wizards see them all the time. I was a wizard once too, you know. So you telling me you're dead? But thanks to that idiot, the Dark Jinn, there aren't too many wizards it's love. So when I saw you, I thought I'd be... I'd better hand that page over. You're the first wizard I've seen in... I don't know how long. Cheap is. Can I really keep it? Of course. It's the least I can do to say thanks for looking after my book. Your book? So that's his book. Now you got your wires crossed, sunshine. That, that's our book, that is. Who are you, anyway? Me, I'm Horace. Although you probably know me better as the Sage of Ages. Hang on a sec. You want us to believe a little midget like you is the Sage of Flipping Ages? Who are you calling a midget, Pipsqueak? I'm a fairy, ain't it? I'm supposed to be this size, cheeky little. You're called Ollie, are you? And you're on a journey in our world? Oh, uh, yeah. Maybe I'll go on a little journey myself. I haven't taken a look around our world for a long time. Right. I'm heading south to the desert. Hopefully we'll meet again at this town down there. Alright, see you soon, Horace. It looks like that was completely optional. But it might come in handy. I love... This is why I love Japanese RPGs, man. Like, it, like all the side content just helps. It, it just makes the game worth playing. Seeing all this side stuff like this. So apparently that wasn't even part of the main quest. That's cool. Alright, that's the palace, but right, let's get, we've done enough sidetracking. Let's get to where we need to go. Beautiful music is playing, yeah. I know people think I'm with for like an orchestra orchestrated music. I don't think it's that bad, man. How can you not like it? <laughs> Especially if it's good. I don't really understand how people can just not like other types of music and just and just stay with whatever they grew up with. That's crazy. They don't even try to explore like different musical tastes. They just they just think once they found some, whoa, that was scary. Can you jump over there? Nope. Hey, watch out, dripping! I'm coming. It doesn't look like we can jump anywhere else. That was cool. I didn't even know you could jump over there on those. But anyway. On to the shop. Alright. Welcome to Swift Solutions, where those in need come to watch their worries fly away. And where those who are feeling helpful agree to perform tasks on their behalf. What sort of task do you mean, sir? What I mean is side quest. You honestly don't know? Dear me, you really are new to this, aren't you? Well, I shall swallow my amazement and explain. Folks who are in need of assistance flock to me, hoping to find someone willing to take on their errands for them. So this is pretty much like a quest or a guild board, or not a guild, but pretty much where people post side quests, you do them, you hand in the errands, or you do the errands, and you report back pretty much to get whatever reward have a look at the errand board over there. A Swift Solutions, you can also agree to undertake missions to eliminate specific monsters. These are known as bounty hunts. Okay. If you want to find out more, access the main menu and take a look in your journal. My journal, huh? Okay, I think I got it. Your journal will also show you how many merit stamp cards you got. The gatekeeper mentioned something about those. Uh, I don't think I have one, though. <laughs> oh, you don't know, do you? Well, that is swiftly remedied. Keep this merit stamp card safe. You'll have needed to collect stamps when you complete tasks. Once you've filled up a few cards, you can exchange them for merit award, <coughs> excuse me, merit awards, which will be sure to be useful in your travels. Simply visit the nearest branch of Swift Solutions. Head over your completed cards, and the awards will be yours. The Taskmaster says. <laughs> All right, so every town has a damn has one of these places has a Swift Solutions. 
But before we manage to start all that do goodery, we need to get you dressed for the job now. The hoot nanny, the hoot nanny said your outfit will be ready tomorrow. So I reckon our best plan of action is to go and get a good night's sleep down at the cat's cradle. The journal is now accessible from the main menu. This game just oozes with just, oh my goodness, magical adventure and journeys and goodness. New errands are now available. A, gr a grim alkin standing near the hoot and Ding Dong Dell looks somewhat troubled. So we get two stamps for that. Matter word. Jack in the box. Makes it easier for you to sneak up on enemies from behind. That's cool. Jackpot. Causes additional restorative glimpse to appear during battle. You know, that actually might be good. And isn't that something from Kingdom Hearts now that I remember? There was something called Jackpot in Kingdom Hearts. And then it actually dropped more health balls and such. Maybe it was called a different spell but or a skill, but it's pretty much the similar thing from Kingdom Hearts I remember. Allows you to jump by pressing circle while running. Not very useful, but a whole lot of fun. I'm definitely getting that. Allows you to run a little faster on the hills and plains of the wide. Why wouldn't we do that? We definitely got to do that, guys. All right, so we got to do some of these quests so we can pick out some of these additional features. Like being able to jump just is just fun. All right, so right now we pretty much got to go get geared up and ready to do all this adventuring. Can we do the quest right now? Cause there was a Grimalkin. I'm guessing that's what the cats are called. Next to the Hoot Nanny shop. Okay, so if it's glowing on the map, that means it pretty much means it's a side quest. Hmm, still not quite pretty enough. Doing a little decorating, is it? Well, I always said you can't beat a flower or two. Brighten things up and no end they do. How clever of you. I was just thinking about using some flowers. I'm trying to make my doorway pretty, prettier, you see. <laughs> you are? What kind of flowers are you thinking of using? Hmm, I want something nice and bright. I will need some fresh, clean water to give them. Oh, I have spring water. Yes. A splash of color. Oh, thank you. You're a perfect gentleman. Now, I'll need you to bring me two plant source flowers and two bottles of spring water. Yes, ma'am, but where can I find them? Neither can be purchased, purchased from the shops. You'll have to go to look for them out among the rolling hills. Don't worry, they're positively, they positively twinkle. I dare say you've seen twinkling spots on the ground outside. Yup. Well, be sure to investigate them when you stumble upon one. You'll find all manner of perfection. One more thing, once you for forage from a particular spot, it won't twinkle as it did before, but never fear, both its produce in its twinkle will return in time. Let's go a foraging, shall we? Thank you very much. Alright. I think we already have some of this stuff, though. We have two of those. Yep, we already completed this quest. Awesome. You found it all already? Yes, ma'am. All these are the things you were looking for. Yes, perfect. Perfect. I'm so the, I'm ever so grateful, dear. Here, a little present to say thank you. Oh, yeah. A wooden shield. 50 guilders. Rolling in the money now. <laughs> a splash of color. And that was only number 42. And it looks like it goes up to hundred, hundreds of quests you can do. Oh, my goodness. You received two merit stamps. Alright, so that's one side quest down. Alright, so let's get back on track. Alright. Time for a good night's rest. Welcome to one of the Cat's Cradle channel premium inns. We provide ourselves on our practically in What the hell, man? Let's stay here for a night. Your custom is always appreciated. Mm, you look a little unusual. You're a traveler, I presume. Then I encourage you to take a map 
take a nap at each of our ends whenever your travels may take you. We're very proud of our deep and comfortable beds and we hope you enjoy them as much as we do. Thank you very much. Look at your wizard's companion. There's something different about it. It's useful. The memories of all the travelers who stayed here have filled it back up a bit. Whoa, really? I never expected that. <laughs> it's funny. I was just about to say the same thing Oliver said. It's a flipping mighty spell book. We, be we best to stay at many of these places as we can. So I guess they give you a reason to stay at the ends in this game. Because in most RPGs, you can basically easily buy a tent and use that to pretty much get your health back. But this, you have a good reason to actually stay at the tent or stay at the ends in this game. That's cool. Oliver. <gasps> Oliver. Is that huh? his mom? Mom? Mom! You've done so well to make it this far, Oliver. Mom? Is this a dream? You must listen to me now, Oliver. You have to go to him, to face him. And when you do, you'll learn the truth. Promise me, no matter how hard it is. Him? Mom, who's him? Mom, what do you mean? He's someone very important to both of us. But who is he? And where do I have to go? It's all right, sweetie. You're already on your way. Don't give up, Oliver. No matter how hard it gets. What is this truth she's speaking of? Mom! Mom! Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. So many questions just popped up in my head from that. Like, is Shadar related to Oliver? Oh, it, this is gonna be some Jedi type shit, man. I can already see it coming. Excellent, you'll be on your way now, I expect. Well, if you happen to cross another cat's cradle on your travels, be sure to stay with us again. Okay. Mom. Save your pro- Of course, why wouldn't I save? Alright, so, now, what was she talking about? Was she talking about Shadar, or... She could have been talking about anybody right there, but who knows. But that's interesting. I wonder who she was mentioning about facing, or doing whatever. Or whatever. Or whatever. So, at this point, I need to see how long I was recording. I think I need to split this video. I'll, I'll continue playing for a little bit. So, we'll get our outfit before we even quit this uh, video. I need to find a way to freaking time it perfectly because I have to keep switching between my computer and the video game component. Pretty much, I use the same TV for my computer as well as the game I'm recording. So there's no easy way for me to actually uh, switch between them other than to use the remote to switch to see my computer screen. But anyway, let's get dressed up. Woohoo, there you are, Derry. You'll be happy to hear your clothes are ready. Tidy, best try them on then, Ale boy. Sure. I'll just pop and get them for you, dear. Wait there. I shall not be a moment. Yes, ma'am. Thank you very much. What do you think? Huh? Nice. Oh, that's trendy. You look proper sharp, Ollie boy. Looking like a real hero now. Isn't it a little goofy? I mean, a cape? <laughs> Don't be silly, dear. It hoots you down to the ground. Thank you very much, ma'am. How much do we owe you? For these, for those old things, don't be silly, dear. You'd be doing me a huge favor just taking them off my hands. Really, you sure? Woohoo! I can't remember the last time I did any sewing. It was an absolutely hoot. It's an absolute hoot, dear. Think nothing of it. All I ask is that you pop back and buy a little something from time to time. You'll do that for me, won't you, dear? Of course we will. Thanks, missus. <laughs> Thanks, Lucky. <clears throat> Excuse me, there's Lucky Ollie boy. Looks like we owe this place another visit or three. We sure do. You obtained a set of travelers' clothes. Can we buy like different outfits maybe? And now you got some da some dapper does, we can head up to the palace. Time to go meet the king, huh? I'm kinda nervous. It's a lot easier when you have someone else to meet something. It calms your nerves easier, or it calms your nerves when you have someone else there by your side when you have to go to an important meeting or some, do something important. It's, it's a lot stress, 
it's least stressful when you have someone else there, is what I'm trying to say. Now let's actually buy some of this. Increases defense. Oh, it's, it's, at least it's affordable. It's not nothing outrageous like 300 G's, man. Okay. So it looks like... These are... Okay, so these are the trees that we feed the familiars. That boost whatever stat. But it looks like this chocolate only increases the attack by one. I'm sure later we'll get better trees that we can feed our familiars that will boost them up by a lot. Okay, and I'm pretty sure you can only feed your, um, feed your familiars. I'm not, I'm not sure what I'm trying to say, <laughs> but I'm pretty sure, I, I got it, I got, I got my words back. I'm pretty sure, though, that you can only feed your familiars so much. So after you feed them after probably like a couple of times, like maybe ten, well, they'll be full and you can't feed them again. Who knows? Who knows? But anyway, we should be getting to that star. And I completely went the other way. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and save it right here. And then once I get done from taking the break and get my damn worries together, once I get my head straight because I'm getting a little dizzy over here, <laughs> I will return with more Nino Kuni. So we see you guys a little bit later, okay? Peace out.